Hey, this is Danny from Weird and Wired, and this right here is a radio cassette recorder that I am hoping to turn into a lo-fi machine. This particular radio is a Hitachi TRK65, but this is a modification that you'd be able to do with any radio cassette recorder of a similar nature. Now, there are two stages to my plan. The first of which is something I've documented on the channel before, which is modifying this into a guitar amp using a quarter inch jack wired straight to the volume of the radio gives a great gritty dirty sound when you plug in and play with this having a cassette recorder built in you can record straight onto tape which is where phase two of the plan comes into action this is a motor speed controller which we are going to connect to the motor for the cassette recorder so when we're playing back we can slow it down we can speed it up add an extra element of lo-fi fun so i'm really looking forward to doing this let's open it it up and see what we're dealing with. So that is our quarter inch jack wired straight to the volume of the radio. Two wires connected straight to the volume potentiometer. It's a nice modification to do with some really dirty gritty results. Obviously it's going to be no good with this jack hanging out so I've already spotted there's a bit of space on the side of the radio, drill into the side here, get that fixed in place and then we'll move on to the cassette element. This is the motor for the cassette. As you can see, there's a little bit of circuit board popping out of the side and there is a red and a black wire. We're going to need those shortly because those are coming from the power supply to the motor. Now, what we want to do is pop that top cap of the motor, which will expose that circuit board and we are gonna remove that all together. The top cap can be prized off, whereas this particular circuit board had two solder joints holding it in place. With the circuit out the way, we can see that we have two terminals on the motor itself. Our motor speed controller has four terminals with the black and red wire which were connected to the circuit in the motor for the cassette. We need to take those two wires and we want to put those into the power negative and the power positive. So in this case, it's gonna be the black wire into the power negative and the red wire into the power positive. And then we're gonna need two additional wires so we can connect the two terminals from the motor itself to the motor positive and the motor negative. Now with the cassette recorder set to play, we can see the wheels turning and they will slow down and speed up as the motor speed controller is adjusted.
couple things left to do with this. I'm going to drill a hole for that, secure that. The only other thing I'm going to do is add another quarter inch jack. This is going to be wired straight to the speaker so we can have this and run it into an audio interface. Let's wrap this project up and have a little bit of fun. So to demonstrate using this with an audio interface to bounce from computer to the tape and then back under the computer, I'm going to be using my Focusrite Scarlett 6i6 audio interface. This particular model has four line outputs in the back, which is super handy for doing this sort of thing. But if you're working with something and you don't have a line output, you can just use the headphone jack. And all I'm doing is running a cable from our line output into the in and then I'm gonna hit record on my tape cassette here I'm gonna hit play on the laptop and then I am going to play it back and have a bit of fun with the motor speed controller <laughs> So now we have our audio recorded onto tape. What we have to do is reverse what these are acting as. So instead of using the line output on the audio interface, we want to be using one of the inputs. And instead of using the input on the cassette, we want to use the output. What we do now is we hit record on the computer, we hit play on the cassette, and we have a whole lot of fun speeding this tape up, slowing it down. Now it is important to note that it does make a difference where you have your motor speed controller placed when you are recording onto tape. For this, I had it placed in the middle so we get a good range of being able to slow it right down, speed it right up. But if all you wanted to do was really slow it down, you could record with your motor speed controller turned right up. So when you're playing back, you just have that option of slowing it right down and vice versa. If you really want to speed it up, you can record with your motor speed controller all the way down and it will give you that option of just speeding it up.
So there we have it, the lo-fi machine, super versatile, whether you want to use it as a radio amp, whether you want to bounce from digital to tape and then back to digital, you can have a lot of fun with the tone control on this, giving it a real muffled EQ or a real tinny sound. And of course, your motor speed controller, you can knock it down a step, up a step, or just make chaotic, crazy, wacky, experimental noise. I love using this gear as much as I love making it because for me personally, having it physically in front of me and having a lot of buttons and things I can fiddle with with my hands, that just opens up a different kind of approach. And I find that sometimes this is the inspiration for a song rather than something I use for a song which has already been worked on. Of course, there are plugins and VSTs which do a remarkable job of this lo-fi sound and arguably are a lot easier to use, a lot easier than tracking down one of these and taking it apart and doing all the work but I absolutely love working on them like I say I find it really satisfying to work on, really satisfying to use and I still use plugins and VSTs for this kind of lo-fi sound, it totally is horses for courses, some projects I'll use this, other projects I'll use a plugin, it totally depends, I'm not a purist, I'm open to anything and everything but let me know what you guys think do you dig this would you have an application for it in mind you let me know all your thoughts and feelings and until the next time keep it weird and keep it wired mm, weird and wired